Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create the fire effect by using the sprite sheets. So this is a sprite sheet which I'm going to use to create the fire. So this is a sequence. Uh, so what we can do is we can create the fire by using this sequence here. So first we'll create an uh, Niagara system. So right click, effects, Niagara system, and select this. And just we'll create the empty emitter and click on add, finish. Just we'll name it as Niagara system underscore fire. So just open it, double click. And after creating this emitter, first we'll create the material too. So just uh, if you want, you can create new folder. So in the content, you can right click new folder materials. So to create the material, just right click, select this material and name as like mat underscore fire. So just go inside material. And now we need to bring the texture into this material editor. So if I go to the content and I will select the texture and here after selecting the texture, search for texture sample. And also just we'll take the particle color, particle color. So we need to multiply this and we need to connect it to like opacity. So in order to change, in order to enable this opacity, first of all, you have to select this node and here the blend mode, you need to select it to like translucent. And now we need to take a multiply node. So connect the RGB of this one and RGB of this one to B and select it to like opacity. And also we will connect this RGB to the B's color. So now we got this textures here. So now click on this save. So now we'll close this and now go to the Niagara system. So this is a Niagara system which I have created. And here we need to browse that material. So what we'll do is we'll select this material. So after selecting this material, so in this emitter, we need to select this sprite renderer and we need to click on this. So what it will do is whatever the material you have selected in the content browser, that will be selected here. So we need to select this one. So now the material has been enabled. Still, we are not able to see anything. So we need to create the particle. So in the emitter update, search for spawn rate so select this and here in the spawn rate just i will give only one so now whenever we click on this play so now you can see all the smoke textures has been imported at the same time but what we want is we want to play it like a sequence so in order to load this single textures uh, we need to go to this sprite renderer and in the sub uv so here you can see there is an option like X and Y, so sub UV. So here we need to type like eight by eight. So here I'm using the tile size to eight by eight because so whatever the texture we are using. So for example, if I open this, so we have like eight columns and eight rows. So what the thing is whenever I give the eight by eight, so it will load only the single texture here. So like in the Niagara system, so here uh, in the sprite renderer, we need to select the option to eight by eight, but still if you click on play, so it is just uh, emitting only the first image. So in order to play all the sequence, so we need to go to this particle update and search for sub UV animation. So select this and here we are getting an error. So we need to select the sprite. So we need to select this sprite renderer in the sprite UV animation. And now you see if you click on this play, we are getting this sequence, but what the thing is we need to like decrease the lifetime of each and every particle. So if you go to this initialized particle and the lifetime is five, so we have to give the value to like one. So what the thing is each and every image will have a lifetime of one. So if you click on this play, so now we got this nice fire animation here. So based on the sequence, we are getting this fire animation means like if you double click on this, so it is playing line by line sequence. So if you go to this Niagara system, now each and every sequence is playing line by line. This way. And if you want, you can add the color. Uh, so for example, if you want to add the color, we can go to the particle update and click on this. So search for color. So select this. And now uh, if you go to the middle of this frame, And now here you can give the color. Here. So whatever the color you want, you can give the color. It's like if you want to give the fire color, so you can give the fire color. So now we got this uh, nice fire effect. 
And if you want to add the glow, you can add the glow. So let's say if I want to give to like 10 or something. So now if you click on this play, so we got this, but uh, it is changing the color. So just I will give to like two or something. That's fine. So now we got this nice fire effect. So by using these sprites, we can create this kind of fire effects. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.